about operations on sites, the union, intersection, difference, and complement. For example, given that the universal set has the elements from 1 to 10, or set A has the elements 1, 3, and 5, set B has the elements 6, 7, 8, and 10, and set C has the elements 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Now, to get the union of a given set, just simply combine the elements. For example, in number 1, find the union of A and B. So let us write our solution. The elements in A are 1, 3, and 5. Now, what are the elements in B? We have 6, 7, 8, and 10. So as you observe, you're just going to combine the elements. And therefore, our answer will be 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. Now, for number 2, find the union of B and C. To find the union of B and C, again, just simply combine the elements in B and in C. Now, let us write the elements in B. We have 6, 7, 8, and 10. And we're going to combine it from the elements in C, which are 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Well, in here, you're going to write your answer from least to greatest. So we have 1. Next, we have 4. Now, as you observe, there is 6 in set B and in set C. You will not write 6 twice. You will just write it once. Next, we have 7. Same with 8. You will write it once. Next, we have 9. And the last element is 10. So this is the union of sets. Next, intersection of sets. To find the intersection of sets, you're going to find what is common. Or if there are, or if there is, similar elements between the two sets that are given. For example, in number 3. We need to find the intersection between A and C. The elements in A are 1, 3, and 5. The elements in C are 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. To get the intersection, you need to find what is or what are similar elements. So let us take a look. So we have 1 as the common elements. Well, aside from 1, are there any other elements common to them? Do we have 3? There's no 3. Do we have 5? There's no 5. Well, from here, we can say that the intersection of A and C is 1. So, let us write our answer. Next, for number 4, find the intersection of B and C. Now, what are the elements in B? We have 6, 7, 8, and 10. Now, what are the elements in C? We have 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. So, again, just like on what we did in number 3, we must find the common elements. Now, what are the common elements? Do we have 6? Okay, we have 6. How about 7? There's no 7. How about 8? There is 8. How about 10? There's no 10. So as you observe, there are two common elements in set B and in set C. And what are those two common elements? We have 6 and 8. And this will be the intersection of B and C. Now, what are you going to do if there are two operations? Let's list first the elements. So, in C, we have 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Then, the symbol for the intersection. Then, we have the parentheses. What are the elements in A? We have 1, 3, 
and 5. And then we need to find its union with the elements in B, which are 6, 7, 8, and 10. Just like in PEMDAS, let's start first with what's inside the parentheses. So we're going to combine the elements in here because we need to find the union. So we have 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. Then we need to find its intersection with set C, which are 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Well, to get the intersection, you need to find what is or what are the common elements. So there is, there is what? Okay, there is one. That's a common element. We have, do we have four? We have six. Do we have seven? Do we have eight? So as you observe, we have three common elements. Now, what are those three common elements? And those three common elements will be the answer in here. So, let us write it. We have one, six, and eight. So, this will be our answer. Next. In number 6, we need to find first the intersection of A and B and the intersection of B and C before you get the union. Now, how are you going to do that? So, let us write our solutions in here. So, we need to have more space because the solution will be very long. So, what are the elements in A? 1, 3, 5. Then, let's get the intersection of this in, in B. We have 6, 7, 8, and 10. Next, you need to find its union with the intersection of B and C. So the elements in B, we have 6, 7, 8, and 10. Then you need to find its intersection with the elements in C. We have 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. So, to get the intersection, you need to find what is or what are common elements. Do we have 1? There's no 1. Do we have 3? There's no 3. How about 5? There's no 5. As you observe, there are no common elements in A and in B. And therefore, in here, we're going to have an empty set. Then you need to find the union of it in the intersection of B and C. Now, let's take a look if there are common elements. So, do we have 6? We have 6. We have 7? There's no 7. We have 8. Okay. So, as you observe, there are two common elements. Now, we're going to write those two common elements, which are 6 and 8. Now, are we done with our answer? No, we're not yet done with this because we still need to find the union of the empty set in 6 and 8. So since this is empty and you have to combine it with 6 and 8, our answer will be 6 and 8. Next. To find the difference, let us list the elements in A. We have 1, 3, 5. Minus the elements in B, 6, 7, 8, and 10. To find the difference, you need to subtract the elements in B, which are also in A. But as you observe, there are no elements in B that is also in A. And therefore, we cannot subtract anything from A because they don't have the same elements and therefore our answer will be 1, 3, and 5. Next, for number 8, 
the elements in B are 6, 7, 8, and 10. Minus the elements in C, we have 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. So again, you're going to subtract elements in C that are also in B. So what are those elements? So we have 6 and we also have 8. Now what is left in B? 7 and 10. So the answer will be 7 and 10. Next, we need to find the complement of A and the complement of C. To find the complement of A, we need to subtract it from the universal set. So our universal set has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So these are the elements in the universal set. Then we're going to subtract the elements in A, which are 1, 3, and 5. So when we subtract, we must find what is common with A and with the universal set. So 1. Next, we have 3. And then the last one, we have 5. So what's left? And therefore, our answers will be 4, ah, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So how did we get 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10? Those are the elements left. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Next, let, let us find the complement of C. So again, let us list the elements from the universal set. We have 1 to 10. Then, let us list the elements of C, which are 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. So again, to find the complement, we're going to subtract it from the universal set. And when we subtract it, we must remove similar elements so let's remove one and then let's remove four six four and six then we'll also remove eight and nine eight and nine so what's left the numbers left will be the complement of c and what are those So we have 2, 3, 5, 7, and 10. So that will be the complement of C. Okay, last one. As you observe in here, we need to find first the intersection of B and C before we get the complement. Well, to do that, let us list the elements of B. We have 6, 7, 8 and 10. And then get its intersection with the elements in C, which are 1, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Before you get the complement. So get first the intersection. So what are the common elements in set B and in set C? So we have 6. We have 7, so we have 8, you have 10, you have 9. So as you observe, the intersection of B and C are 6 and 8. So let us write 6 and 8 as the intersection. Six and eight. However, this is not yet the final answer because you need to find the complement. And how are you going to do that? You're going to subtract it from the universal set. So again, you're going to subtract it from the universal set. And what are those? 
we have numbers from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Minus 6 and 8. 6 and 8. So, we remove this because we already subtract it from the universal set. So, again, let us remove the common elements. So, let's remove 6 and 8. 6 and 8. So, the numbers left will be our final answer. And what are those? We have 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 7, 9, and 10. So this is how we perform operations on sets. I hope you learned. Thank you.